tell us about yourselves. The uh, the name of the troop. Are you guys all uh, an Eastern troop or is it regional? We're Troop Eight Zero Five Three Eight. We're part of um, Eastern Girl Scouts in Eastern Massachusetts, and we're made up of five girls at the moment. Basically, we are just one troop out of I think there's. 30 plus troops. That also encompasses all the daisies, the brownies, the juniors, the cadets, the ambassadors, the seniors, the whole gamut. And most troops are generally of at least eight members. Some of them are as large as 10. Uh, so at least 175 to 200 girls are involved in Eastern Girl Scouts. Yeah, even for these guys, there were quite a few um, daisy and brownie troops when they started. But as the girls, age then other interests take over so it's a conflict with sports or music or drama so it's it's a little tough for them to stay involved so for the older girls it really is a commitment tell us about what came into the idea for the event at the uh, southeastern rehab uh, so for our girl scout project for the amazed journey we had to solve a problem so we decided to go to the nursing home um, and because we thought that because of the pandemic in the nursing home, they didn't get any residents and they're not really able to, we thought that it was a problem. So time to go. Because the residents didn't get visitors, you were concerned mm -hmm. about that. And the, the yeah. girls wanted to brighten up their day. And um, this is something that is reproducible. The girls uh, plan on going back again and involving other troops in this um, as they reached out to other girls to participate. Uh, but due to the pandemic, we can't have too many people together at once. So as it was, we had four children, adults, so that's eight and the cameraman, we try to keep it under 10, kept working. So I noticed you all came with signs. Uh, what went into the ideas for your signs? Like what message did you want to spread to the, uh, the nurses and the staff? Way to tell them we cared and that we hadn't forgotten them because they were probably feeling very alone with not having anyone come and visit them with the pandemic. For my sign, um, I knew a lot of families in the nursing home. Some of them, they don't have family that visits them anymore or um, due to the pandemic, they can't have visitors. So with my side, I said, you are loved. So I just wanted them to know that no matter what, they always have people there that would love them and that they're not alone. Yeah. My son said, wishing you happiness, just as a nice positive affirmation. Well, right now it's a little bit tough with the pandemic. Um, even us meeting in person is a challenge. The girls all had to do their pieces on their own, uh, which, is very unusual because usually they would work as a group, but each girl took a role. Um, and as Mrs. Gleasy had stated, it's tough because you can't involve too many of the other troops at this time. What we were thinking of doing is getting other troops involved so that there could be a steady flow of visitors to the nursing home for the residents and for the staff as well. Um, but it's something that we haven't completely flushed out yet because this is a whole new learning curve for all of us. The girls had donated the signs back into the nursing home so that they could use them in their, um, it's called a day room in most facilities. It's like a common room where the residents can gather and they'll play bingo or whatever. But the signs will be up there to remind them that, yep, we're here, we, we plan on coming back. We don't know when, but it is definitely a, in our plans. When I was handing in the signs with Ella, um, there was a gentleman waiting for one of his loved ones to come outside for a visit. And he was uh, so thankful that the girls had thought to do this and write these beautiful signs and decorate them. And we walked around the entire facility and you know they took their time so that the residents could get near the windows and wave and, and smile and interact with the girls. Um, in a, as, with a safe distance in between. Um, so anyway, he was very, very appreciative. It was very nice. And it was a nice tie-in for their journey, which was about building relationships and reaching out to the community. So that piece of it was nice that we were able to do something beyond just our immediate wants and needs. It was 
definitely centered on the people at the facility, not on us. How did it make you feel when you saw the people waving back? I was very happy to see them happy. It was great.